creating products is one of the most crucial parts of any e-commerce system. So today, we are going to create a configurable product which is a product with multiple variants. For this tutorial, we are going to create a jeans product. Now we will fulfill the product name. As you can see, you can select which channel you would like this product to show. Let's select both options. Here, you will have a chance to choose options for your product. It has the option to fill the size of the jeans. The variant selection method is something that you will find in Cilius as well. Let's select options matching in Cilius. Options are the entity based on which values we can generate variants. Name the configurable product you want to create. Slug will be fulfilled automatically. We will not fulfill the languages and SEO fields to make it simpler for the tutorial purpose. Select create and move on to the next steps. Here you can see the taxonomy panel that we will fill to create our product category. As you can see, the process is almost identical to the one that we've recorded in the simple product creation tutorial. Now we will add the previously created attribute, which will be genes. Let's select a category. As you can see, two options will pop up if you click on the genes tab. First, select the gender for your configurable product. For this video, we will choose women. In the next step, you are going to add attributes, select two of them, and include appropriate descriptions for them. Moving on to the next step, select similar products which will be presented when selecting a particular product. It is a prevalent solution that improves upselling, with this option, your customer has faster access to similar products, so they will make a purchase much faster if they see a complementary product. Let's select basic regular and ultra slim. A crucial step to creating your configurable product will be adding media. Choose a file that you want to be presented on your shop page. Don't forget to save your changes. As you can see, adding media to your product wasn't the last step. If you want this process completed, go through one more important segment, namely manage variants. When you click on this tab, additional options will appear, such as list variants, create and generate. In this material, we will focus on creating variants. First, name your variant. For the purpose of this video, we will call it denim jeans size S. You can also name your variant in different languages. Enter the code. Set the price for the variant in both sales channels. Then select the options. For this video, we will omit the properties option. Repeat the same process if you want to create an additional variant to your configurable product.
After completing your variants, save those positions and move to the products page. Locate your product, and go to the edit option. From this dashboard, you can go to the shop page by clicking on the bar show product in shop page. Next, select which channel you want to be opened. Let's go with home plus web store. As you can see, you are on the shop page where you can easily choose jeans size, select quantity, and make an order. In this part of the video, we will present to you how to easily select the variant method in a product. Go to the Products tab in the Admin panel. Click on the Create button to create a configurable product. Then enter details such as the product code and enable the channel on which it should appear. Under the Variant Selection Method tab, select the Variant Choice option and tick the options that interest you. For example, I have ticked the Dress Size and Dress Height options for this video. Afterwards enter the name of the product. Go to the Taxonomy tab and select the product taxon by ticking the category in T-shirts boxes. Click on the Create button at the very bottom. Go back to the Edit panel for our product, click on the button responsible for managing variants, then select Create. For this recording, we will enter Variant 1 in the Name field and the Code field. Then, set the price for your product. In the Options field, I will select Dress Size, Precisely Size M and Dress Height, Precisely Regular. Next, press the Create button. Once again, create a variant. This time it will be a second variant called Variant 2. Follow the instructions from the previous variant, and set the price for your product once again. For the second variant, in the field options, change the dress size to XL, and dress height to tall. Go back to the panel with our product and check how it looks on the page by clicking the Show Product in Shop Page button. As you can see on our newly created product, there are new variants, each with a dedicated price. I will show you how to adapt different media for different product variants. First, locate the Products tab. Afterwards select the product you are interested in and press the Edit button on the right-hand side. Following that, in the top right-hand corner, Click on the button responsible for managing variants and select the list variants option. For this recording, we will edit the first variant with size S. Set the price for this product. Save changes and return to the variants dashboard to select another variant to edit. This time it will be a size L variant. Follow the steps from the previous edition process. Save changes, go back to the product dashboard, and move on to the media tab on the left. As you can see, an image is already assigned to the product. In the next step, add media by clicking on the dedicated button. Select the photo that would correspond to the assigned variant. In this case, it will be the size S and size M variants. Next, add another image. This time, 
The photo will be assigned to size L and XL variants. Save your changes. In the next step, check that your changes are visible in the shop. To do this, click on the Show Product in Shop Page button in the top right corner. If you change the size of a product, the images will also change. In this part of the video, we will present how to disable the shipping option from the admin panel. Locate the product in the Products tab. Select any product and then click the Edit button on the right-hand side. In the top right corner, you will find the button responsible for managing variants. Click on it and then click on the List Variants button. You should see a page where all the product variants are available. Select any variant and click on the Edit button. When you go down, you will locate the Shipping Category tab where the option is Shipping Required is enabled. Turn it off, and then save your changes. Then go back to the product panel and check how it looks on the website. You'll be able to do that by clicking the button located in the top right hand corner named show product on the website. Once the product is visible before your eyes, complete the order in a few simple movements. First, add the product to your shopping basket. Click on the checkout button to proceed to the checkout stage. Then fill in the fields with the required data. And press the next button. Next, please select the payment method you're interested in. In our case, we will stay with online payment by bank transfer. Then, click on the next button. As you can see, the order stages are listed at the top, and the delivery stage is not shown, as it has been disabled. Complete the order process by clicking on the place order button. In this part of the video, we will show you how to create and select the shipping category assigned to a particular product variant. Locate the Shipping Categories tab on the left-hand side of the admin panel. To create a new type of delivery category, follow the steps shown in the recording. Next, go to the Shipping Methods tab and edit the delivery method you are interested in. In the case of this video, this will be DHL Express. In the next step, in the Category Requirements field, select the newly created category and confirm your changes. Now, go to the Products tab, select any product and click on the Manage Variants and List Variants buttons to access the panel that will allow you to manage the variants of that product. In the case of this recording, we are interested in Variant S. Click the Edit button to move to the Edit panel for the variant in question. Moving down, you will find a tab where you can select the newly created category. Confirm changes in the next step. Return to the product panel by clicking on the product name at the top, then present the product on the website. Now that you can see the product on the website add it to your shopping cart and go through the checkout process to verify the changes you have made. Once you have filled in the relevant boxes and fields with your data, the next step is to select the supplier you are interested in. As you can see, a supplier is available, which we have already chosen in the admin panel. Complete the purchase. If you select size M or other jean sizes, you will not be able to use the delivery option you are interested in, which in this case is DHL Express.